Excuse me, everyone, if I can get your attention real quick. I want you to know the food is just outside these doors to the right. If you'd like to grab something to eat and bring it back to your table before we get started, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. You alone, I alone. You and I belong right here. Today, we're very happy to have a lot of Asian American leader to come here to Alexander State House to have a little gather together. And our purpose is to tell Asian American story to the rest of this country. Don't never apologize for being Americans. You're American. That's why our contribution to this country had to be real and you need in such a way that we have to acknowledge it. The Asian American or Chinese American have contributed mightily to our country, this country. The story had to be told. So not because we like to have a credit, but this is a, one of the fabric of American story and we got to do it. Thank you very much. I am fourth generation Californian, speaking more Spanish than I do Chinese, but I am still considered a perpetual foreigner. And that's why this storytelling is so important, about the lived experiences. And when we think about the history of Silicon Valley, it's in fact because those immigrants who have come to become educated here in the United States, then while here are the founders and the job creators of the economic engine that is that of Silicon Valley. Asian hate is not because people hate us is because of misunderstanding. So it's really important to, for people to get to know each other. There are so many great stories in Silicon Valley. Um, I myself have heard so, so many stories inspired by so many people. So we hope that together we are able to tell the stories and continually telling the stories uh, one by one. Because I felt like an outsider, and I felt like I don't belong. And that's basically how I felt growing up because Everyone always teases you, call you names, you know, and you just kind of feel like that's the norm. A lot of it is not really they hate us or anything. It's just misunderstanding, you know, just difference of culture. So being able uh, for people to see us and understand us and we're not invisible, that is very powerful. I have a responsibility to represent not only me, but Asian woman and a man, and, and the whole, whole, you know, whole community. We have to really participate, contribute, understand, and willing to step in. And don't be shy for those. If people ask you to do something, don't say, I cannot do it. Be brave, be involved, participate, contribute. Now, we look at China in America as public enemy number one. This gives me great worry as we enter 2024. We wouldn't have a Silicon Valley without Chinese and also without Asian Indians. Uh, why is it important to tell Asian American stories? And I believe that it's important to tell these stories, especially the success stories, to tell our residents and especially the young people in our community how important it is uh, to show the Asian success, to show, uh, to tell us some of the challenges that were faced uh, by certain Asian members of our community and how they overcame those challenges. I'd like to tell you why Ding Ding TV is important, especially Diana Ding. Diana Ding is, she is a role model, a superstar, and a, an amazing woman, a businesswoman, a mother, uh, a resident of Santa Clara. Diana Ding is the founder of Ding Ding TV, Silicon Valley Community Media, and the, telling, the chair of the Asian American Stories video competition. What she provides to our community is something we've never had before, which is um, she's opened up uh, information about the Asian community. She has given a lot of her time and 
energy to promoting the community. The rich, beautiful, and natural culture of the Asian community is something that she has, has really brought to Santa Clara. I'm so proud to say that they are here in Santa Clara and she's at the helm as a, as a strong, wonderful businesswoman. I admire her so much.